This is the video demo for configuring the iGlass Smart Connect or IP pool failover. This feature is available in iGlass release 2.0. To configure iGlass Smart Connect or IP pool failover, first we need to configure the access zone with the proper iGLS mapping hints, like as per normal when we configure for access zone failover. Let's take a look the DR dashboard. From this DR dashboard, we can see there is a zone name system from the source cluster, cluster 20, and target cluster, cluster 21. And let's take a look the mapping for the network. We can see there are two pools here, pool 0 and system 0 to pool. For pool 0, we have configured the IGLS ignore, and for system 0 to pool, we have config for configure the RGLS mapping hints. And now, let's continue with the configuration for Smart Connect or IP pool failover. There's a new tab here, pool readiness. And there's a new button here, advanced network mapping, that we can use to configure for pool failover. Select the access zone. We can see two pools here. And now we want to map the policy to the pool. First, pool 0, we want to assign the sync IQ 01 policy to this pool. We select and drop here. And save it. Do the same thing for system 02 pool. Select the sync IQ 02 policy and drop here. Save it. Done. Now, close this one. We expect to see some readiness status from this pool readiness. We can wait for the readiness job to, to be run and completed as per schedule, or we also can run it manually now. Once readiness task job has completed, we can verify from the other spot again. And now, previously we can see the status from zone readiness. Now we can see it from pool readiness. And the DR failover status for these pools under system access zone are OK, ready for failover. For this demo, let's try to do failover for system 02 pool. Go to the other system. We can see there's a new option for failover, smart connect or IP pool. Source cluster, cluster 20. And listed two pools here. Select the system 02 pool. We want to fill over this pool. And now the pool for system 02 pool failover is running. Once the pool failover has completed, and then we enable the configuration replication for the mirror. Now we also can see from the DR dashboard the status of the pool readiness. We can see from the cluster 21 to cluster 20. So we can see that it's already filled over and now it is ready to fill back for this system 02 pool. Let's try to fill back this pool, system 02 pool. Same thing, go to the DR assistant and select smart connect IP pool. But now the source cluster is cluster 21. Select system 02 pool. And run failover. So now the failback, the pool system 02 pool failback is running.
the failback process has completed. And now let's take a look pull readiness from the DR dashboard. We can see that the system 0 to pull from cluster 21 to 20 already filled over. And the status for this pool from cluster 20 to 21 stated as OK. Hope this demo for configuring Smart Connect or IP pool failover with iGlass can help you to configure your own iGlass for IP pool failover. Thank you.